Good afternoon, good afternoon. <laughs> Hello, keeps. Um, no, 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 I know. Um, I was, um, I always leave this stream for a couple minutes at the start just in case people want to kind of drop in or whatever, give people time to make a cup of tea or whatnot. But um, yeah, hope everyone's doing okay. I'm doing a lot better. So for those uh, who are, um, who have who obviously been paying attention uh, I've obviously I've not been streaming over the last week um, I've not really been feeling too good um, so I ended up going to the doctors uh, Thursday uh, and it turns out I had a viral infection which I've still technically got and I'm on medication at the moment but um, yeah it weren't too great it weren't too great but so I'm feeling a lot better today um, so over the last over the last week I've just kind of I've not been at work I've just kind of relaxed and just done my own little thing um been playing a bit of uh a bit of assassin's creed so i completed uh borderlands 3 the other day um and then for my off time i did i did consider playing uh assassin's creed 2 well the assassin's creed the 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 whole franchise as as a stream but given how long it's actually taken me to complete uh, number two and I've co just completed um, Brotherhood I would have been doing it for months and I'm on with hindsight it was a good thing I didn't because yeah it took ages um, so yeah so um, I've completed two and Brotherhood now I am starting Revelations a little bit later on um, and the old man is with with me this week um, just to kind of check up on me seeing how I was because obviously I wasn't well um, and we're going to be doing a bit of the room three a little bit later tonight. Um, so obviously that won't be on stream. Um, and then, uh, so yeah, I'd say it's just been a nice little relaxing week. Uh, and, uh, so I should mention as well, um, I, and obviously keep it LS being here as well. Um, we, um, we've set up a, a little Minecraft server. So on there, it's not just a vanilla playthrough it's uh feed the beast uh revelation which is obviously been around for a, quite a while um you know i'm not sure if mod packs are still in like quick um quick production if that makes sense so i know um i know when minecraft was kind of like a huge it's not really that big anymore is it but when minecraft was huge um it had um obviously there was mod packs coming out of the ears really so um i think that's kind of died down now that minecraft is kind of it's not really big content anymore so but yes yeah, so i i played minecraft uh, mod packs oh, years ago um and it just kind of got that little bit of an itch so what we've done is we've set up a minecraft server for really the community but as I say I'm not there yet but when I get to affiliate and people can be subscribing to the channel or whatever um, then there's spots available for people like that so it would be um, it would be available for mods uh, VIPs and um, subscribers to the channel so for anyone in the future that would be interested in that uh, I say it, it is available for you um, and that will kind of come with your sub money um, I'm not sure how long this server will be up and available uh, in terms of um, in terms of the, the mod pack itself I mean I've got to try and keep it a constant thing anyway um, but in terms of the, um, the server itself um, obviously what I don't want to do is to get to a point where everything's done on the server and then when pe and new people coming into the server everything's kind of like done anyway so it's kind of dead but also at the same time what I don't want to do is people working putting hours and hours and hours of time into some projects and also it just gets wiped clean so I'm still mulling it over I'm still thinking about what we can do in terms of um, in terms of the server um so maybe have like a a deadline at like this is like when we're gonna like finish the this mod pack and we go on to another one uh for instance um and there will be some community times as well so um what we what the aim is as well is if 
there's like a big boss in, in, in a certain mod pack, don't let people just go and do it. You know, allow people to have that kind of time and um, like that prep time to go and do it as a group. So it's kind of like a community kind of event. So, um, yeah, so I think that'll be pretty good. Um, I'm going to, uh, I'm just going to monitor it and see how it goes on over the next couple of weeks. Um, there has already been a lot of progress done on the server from what I've seen. It's none of, none of me. <laughs> it's all Keeper Elos and one of our uh, VIPs, Bal, uh, Balthelion. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, like, tip my fedora off to you because you've done really, really well. But anyway, that's a lot of waffle from me, uh, start a video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crack on. We are going to start a little bit more of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and this is going to be part nine. Yeah, part nine. Um, and we've been playing this now for, uh, there's, that's the quick save. We're not doing that. We've got the, uh, this one here, which stream save two and we've been playing for near on a full day now so we're just going to kick it off and then we are going to see where we are so if i can remember last time because it has been a week since we played um we finished the planet of tatooine we uh the whole thing what we have to try and do we have to try and find star maps and the first star map that we kind of come across was on dantween where the White Boy of the Jedi Enclave. We went then went to Manan and found one there and then we did do Tatooine in the last stream we found that as well. So the next place we're going to be going is Korriban which that's kind of the one I can remember the least. No it's not. It's the most actually thinking about it. It's Kashyyyk I can't, can't remember the most. See, I'm, I'm useless. Um, so um, yeah so what we're going to do we're just going to have a quick little nosy at uh, the uh, workbench just to see if there's anything that we missed in our last upgrades so we did get a purple lightsaber crystal in the last stream as well which is what i've been looking for for ages um there is a uh the double-sided lightsaber there um we are going around with a blue and a purple oh, beautiful blue and a purple um i'm in I don't know if I'm going to be using dual or um, or single. Um, mainly down to the fact that if you go to single, um, we have we have our damage here uh, that we can do, and then this is the roll that we have that will go. So, for instance, if we have to roll a twenty to hit, if we have a ten here, then it will add. 10 to the roll that we do so if we land a 20 we will actually have a 30 roll which essentially is like a, a crit is in terms of D and D. um but if i only roll a two and this only goes to a 12 and their armor rating is 13 or higher then we don't actually hit so the the higher this number the more chance we are to hitting so if I just remove this and we say this, this is a 19. So that's really, really nice. So it's almost like this is really good. We can do between 6 to 25 damage, um, which arguably we can say the highest roll we can do is a 39. Um, or we can go to our lightsaber, which was this one, was it? I think it was this one. Yeah, it was this one. Um, we could try and go for a short lightsaber because I think that does negate the penalty from having it. But we'll have a look. So yeah, this goes 10 and 8. So the damage is actually near on doubled um, from that. Um, so so yeah, so that we could arguably do that. It does lower our defense as well by 3 points. Um, as you can see. Um and yeah but we do more damage so it's more of a glass cannon but also more chance to missing as well so i think what we're going to do we are going to try this out for the moment um if it's not working we will switch back to our just our normal the normal purple lightsaber uh and then we'll just obviously see how we go so kuraban um for those who are unaware as well is the sith homeworld um, so that's where we're going to go now. 
um, our companions, we do have um, all of our companions bar one companion. Um, so if this little creature wants to get out of the way. Um, so the, the people we've got uh, here, we've got obviously we've got our main character here, which is Jin Cha, who is a Jedi Sentinel at level 7, but his overall level is 15. We have um, we have Bastila, who is a Jedi Sentinel as well at level 13. She come from the Sith Order, not Sith Order, uh, from the Jedi Order, uh, and she was um, commanding the mission that we was originally on uh, before we got attacked by the Sith. We have Candorus, who is a uh, soldier. He's more of a, a bounty hunter that we found on Talos, um, not Talos, Taris. Sorry. Um, and uh yeah he's, he's a bit tanky but we don't really take him out as much as probably we should we've got calf who is a soldier as well he was a republic soldier um who aided us in the um finding and releasing of uh bastila he he helped us on taris we don't really take him out either so he's only level 10 um so yeah he's, he's okay the the uh, my favourite companion has got to be HK forty seven the sassy, um, the sassy assassin droid, um, it's assassin droid. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, yeah, he's really good. Really, really love him. Um, it's he's got this kind of thing where if he's going to make a like a, a joke, he will say kind of like um, it's almost like his name in the folder beforehand. Um, so like if he's asking you a question, he'll go query, blah, 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 blah. Um, or, uh, if it's like sarcasm, he'll say sarcasm and then this is this. So it's kind of like the programming of the, and it's just really funny. Um, and he's always constantly calling people meat bags. If you're a human or any kind of biological, um, kind of being, he, co he considers them as meat bags, which is just funny. And he always just wants to kill people. He's just really, really aggressive. Um, so then we have Jahani, who she came from the Jedi Enclave as well. She was originally the dark side, uh, but we managed to turn her over to the light. Um, if you don't turn her over to the light, then I believe you don't get the chance to take her on. I don't know. I can't really remember that. We have Mission here, who is... She's a scoundrel. We found her in the undergrowths of uh, Taris. Um, she... She's just a bit of a, she's a bit annoying to be honest. Um, I don't really like taking her out, and we were just gonna build her into more of a, a demolition expert. But then we've got um other people who can be doing that as well. Her companion, who's Zalbar, who's a big giant Wookie, who um he's not bad, but his aim is absolutely dog water. Um, so we don't really take him out as well. Um, and we found him as well. We rescued him in the uh, sewers of. Uh, Taris as well and then we have T3M4 uh, who is our little protocol droid who we actually bought um, in order for us to get off Taris as well which was good uh, I think that is covers everyone who we have yes it does so what we're going to do we are going to make our way to um, Kuroban now so let's go to the galaxy map we're going to go to Kuroban and then we are going to have a little cutscene here from judging from the last uh, last couple of times we've had to go to different planets so Kalonord is dead, Lord Malak. He has failed in his mission. Forgive me. The penalty for failure is death, Admiral Carath. But the failure was Kalos, not yours. You may rise. Shall I hire another bounty hunter, Lord Malak? No mere bounty hunter can stand against a Jedi. I shall not make the same mistake again. My apprentice, Darth Bandon, shall take care of our young Jedi friend.
That was unnecessary. <laughs> As you command, Master. You felt it, yes? Another vision? The Force continues to work through us, showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Malak. There are some who believe Korriban is the birthplace of the Sith. This planet is an evil place. There are secrets here best left uncovered. It looks like star map was in some sort of cave. During the vision I felt cold and trapped, almost as if I was buried alive. It felt, it felt like we were in some kind of tomb. No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Um, won't the Sith recognize you? Hmm, maybe you're right. Most of the Dark Jedi would only know me by name, but there are a few among them who might recognize my face. For the safety of our mission, I must remain on the Ebon Hawk while we are on this planet. Okay, that's fine. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take out, as we don't have uh, Bastila with us, um, we're going to look at taking out uh hk47 we have to take them out and maybe Johanny. um say they are a a jedi as well so they're going to help us out with the cures that we're going to need so we're going to take Johanny, and then we're going to take hk47 yes we do want this configuration we are going to have a few level ups as well on Johanny. there we go your wish um, right, so, uh, let's just get bearings here. Okay, so, uh, level up. So we are level 10 at the moment. We're going to move to some skills. Uh, we've got two points that we can spend. We're going to have entreat, injury, and then awareness. Um, so that's good. Uh, powers. So we've got cure, but we can't get heal yet. I think that's something that we're going to get in the next level, which we should get. Uh, she's got some dark side skills as well, because she did come from the dark side. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a uh, uh, four shield, which will temporary bonus to defense and all saving throws. That's something that we could probably look at. So we're going to have that. So we're going to accept. We got our next level up. We've got a point in attributes. Um, I'm thinking we might go for strength here because this is going to help with melee, uh, which I say I didn't make that mistake with Candorus. I was putting a lot into his strength whilst he was only in um range which isn't going to really help um uh so this helps with the defense rating as well making them harder to hit so that is still important regarding um regarding being hit but it does help with the blasters and grenades as well but we are just going to go to strength here so we can get in the next point we can have a plus three onto the modifier the skills here we've got two points we're going to say awareness and treat injury uh, feats, uh, we've got the force, so we've got master force jump and then master sense, which is great to see. Um, and we've got conditioning. I'm thinking there is a head care, no, it's implant I'm looking for. Um, caution, nope. Uh, uh, characters wear this feat cannot wear light or heavier armors, soldiers, okay, receive this feat through it free. Okay, so we don't need to look at that, but there's a, there's a head implant thing which we need. Um, unless we've already got it. Uh, let's have a quick mooch. Okay, so 
we could just have this um, because it's going to help with hers but then there's also this as well which is going to help this this feat subtracts two points for every damage for okay now this would be better having improved toughness um so we're going to add that as a feat the powers uh we're going to have a heal cure a heal here which is going to be a benefit to our cure skill and then we've got some more skills as well which we're going to go again awareness and treat injury and then we're going to have a uh, headgear no impact this is what i was looking for okay so this means they can use an additional item which i think we are going to need so we're just going to accept that um, and then we can get here um that's force immunity and force resistance now this might be a little bit of a good shout to get during this during this planet because i say we are on kuruban which i imagine we're going to be against a few dark jedi here um so i don't think we want this uh force armor which gives plus six to all defense uh, to defense and all saving throws um improved energy resistance uh and then force resistance we're gonna get force resistance um yeah so we're gonna get force resistance here so that's gonna be fine we're gonna accept okay so that's her last level in 700 experience we're gonna get our next level again as well anyway so that's fine um she does have a double sided double sided lightsaber as what? well which is fine and i just want to have a quick look to see what her stats are with this so it's 7 and 30 so this is actually quite capable here so that's good um uh right so we're gonna go to sure. uh gin and we're just going to make our way around but yeah hope everyone's having a good weekend um i say the sun is out uh, the, the sun is currently out in um, in the UK, so what better place to be uh, when the sun's out to be indoors <laughs> playing games? Um, I see, I see. Another another Jedi has come to Korban. Yes, good to meet you. Um, how do you know I'm a Jedi? Well, I've got two lightsabers in your hand, so you know it's a bit of a giveaway. Um, <laughs> Come on, come on, Jin, you should have known that. There are many people who, who come from Korban who, uh, from throughout space, hoping to join the Academy, some other Jedi who have left the Order. Uh, you will have to get... You will get into the academy for certain. I understand Jedi who have left the light side are made very welcome, so I imagine. But enough of that. It is very nice to see that the Evan Hawk has returned. I have not seen that ship for some time, indeed. Mm. Don't swindle me. Um, that's not really necessary. Uh, I'm gonna say that's not really necessary. Uh, I suppose there's no need to charge the owner of the Ebon Hawk any fee, really. I'll open the door for you. There we go, that's what you like to see. Um, let me ask you some qu uh, no, I'll be on my way. I don't need to ask you. Okay, cool. Thank you. No, that is the wrong answer. Again, you pathetic hopefuls can't possibly all be this stupid, can you? What a wama mulira, king conjope shock. No bamulira ji. Johnny, you turung chi. We eat a dear. Bola una chinek. Bamulira, slimo anga kunbis king. I'm no master yet, but I like the sound of that. All right, one more question. There's a lot of you is trying my patience. All right, let's say you become a Sith and I am your commanding officer. I give you an order to spare the life of an enemy. Do you do it? Oh, of course, Shardan. Anything you command us. We would never oppose you. No, no, no. Oh, do you honestly believe that 
the Sith are in need of such sniveling cowards. Mercy is a weakness. If your leader shows weakness, it is your duty to kill him and show true authority, true power. That is why the Sith are strong. Tunipudu! Rana nu prata dung no sercha itchua penki! No, you don't understand, and you probably never will. You wouldn't survive five seconds in the academy, the other students would tear you apart. Bah! I can't be bothered with fools. Perhaps I should. Hmm. You, Jedi, you're looking to get in the academy, are you not? Well, of course you are. Why else would you be here? Let me pose a question to you. These hopefuls will never survive in the academy. A lesson must be taught here, but I am at a loss as to what form it should take. Advisement. Evisceration works well. Electrocution and blunt trauma also work well. I understand. <laughs> I wasn't talking to you. I'm thinking to spare them the effort of being killed and do it myself. Perhaps I shall turn their skin inside out. Or force lightning. Yes, it's a most impressive display. Well, perhaps a bit of humiliation is in order. I could easily strip off their tunics and make them run through the colony. Or they could lose all control of their bodily functions. You got what some you weird think? kinks, dude. I just can't seem to decide. Um. Why are you asking me? Please tell him to let us go. I beg you. Silence. <laughs> Why not ask you? I'm rather exhausted from being with people like this. Silence. I find it fun. Come now. A decision, please. Um they could say let them go, perhaps, just scare them off a little or Um Oh, what do we do here? What are we thinking? What are we thinking here? Because I don't exactly want to I mean, I kind of, I don't, yeah, that's the, I don't want to, because I got Jahani here, and last time I'd done something that was bad, Jahani was like, bro, what are you doing? Hmm. Maybe, maybe just scare them a little. <laughs> You're as pathetic as they are, it uh, looks yeah, like. Oh, yeah, <laughs> I can't be bothered. Get out of here, all of you. The sight of you makes me sick to my stomach. Okay, we got light and dark. Oh, so that kind of weighs out. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So he was trying to do something to make him not be killed, but also make it look like we're not, you know, light side in a way. Um, uh, so let's talk to. Yeah, that's me. I won the sweet race on my own. Oh, so we might ask some, he might give us some, oh, some merchandise. Oh, let's have a look. Okay, um, what sort of connections do you have? Mandalorian raiders occasionally drop by needing to get rid of any extras they can't sell in the civilized systems. Um, they treat me well, uh, I treat them well, it works out. Okay. So if you need weapons, then you probably will. This is the place to come. Okay. Um, let me see your merchandise. Okay, so we've got a, a Krath um, Warblade, which does 12, 2 to 13. Fire Blade, Fire Double Blade, 2 to 16. Uh, Casa Svets Heavy Pistol, 4 to 7. Both in Shrieker. Uh, a load of grenades and a load of, of uh, mines as well. Medium repeater or a heavy repeater. Sonic pistol, which does good against. Uh, hmm. All right, uh, the Shrieker 2 to 5, which is sonic damage. 
uh, 10,000 10,000 credits I am going to say no you're not that much of a fan if you're not giving me a discount Jesus look here my dear friends we have some newcomers to the colony led by a Jedi no less I don't believe I've seen any of them before have you I hate Jedi and these fallen ones are worse they always get into the Academy and they think they're better than the rest of us looks pretty fresh to me Lasho that's what I thought well, stranger, I don't know whether you're aware of this or not, but here on Korriban, the Sith do as they please, and we are Sith. Quite literally, whether you live or die depends upon our whim. What do you think of that, hmm? I think you're a bit of a bell, but okay. Uh, I don't think there's any need for hostility. You can try and kill me. You'd fail, but you can try. Uh, oh, I'll say number two. I think that uh, you can try and kill me. Commentary. <laughs> some way to tell the meatbags, master. Charging weapons just in case. This should be fun. Those are very brave words for such an insignificant Commentary. Person. Do you not realize how many Sith are here in Dreshde? Let me kill this one, Lasho. Let me do it. Now, now, let's not be hasty. Perhaps our friend here could yet offer up some amusement. What do you say? Amuse us, make us laugh, and we might just consider allowing you to live. Um... <laughs> okay, two Mandalorians are out in the woods. <laughs> you know, I, I can't resist. I can't resist. I've got to. I've got to do it. Number four. Go on. Um, one of them collapses. He doesn't seem to be breathing. His eyes are glazed. The other Mandalorian takes out his communicator and contacts his commander. I've heard this one before. I think. Quiet. Uh, he gasps. My partner has collapsed. I don't know what to do. After a moment, the commander responds. Calm down. I can help. And then? First, make sure your partner is dead. Then uh, there is a silence. Then a blaster shot is heard. Back of the communicator. The commander says... The Mandalorian says... Okay, now what? Ha! <laughs> too funny. <laughs> Good one. Yes, I suppose that wasn't too bad. <laughs> what the fuck? All right then, my friend. You've done as you were asked. Perhaps we will meet I thought again. there was going to be another line because I thought that was more of a punchline. <laughs> that was... That was that was plop. <laughs> okay, right, okay. Okay, that worked apparently. That worked. <laughs> uh, right, let's see what's in here. They got the uh, Zerk uh, representative, a citizen, uh, perspective Sith, Zerk guard. Is there anything here? Let's talk to the Zerker. Uh, Zerker rep here. Hmm, aren't you the human who won the swoop race on Manan? Congratulations and well done. It was most exciting to watch. It is an honor to have you in our offices. How may Zerka serve you? Um, can I ask you some questions about the colony? Certainly. Um, what can you tell me about the colony? <laughs> there truly isn't much to tell, citizen. Dresh Day was established by the Sith, and we arrived to take advantage of some of the planet's mineral wealth. The only thing that's really unusual about Dresh Day I suppose is that the Sith built their academy on the east side of the colony. You don't find those just anywhere. Have you ever heard of a star map? A star map? We sell navigational components, if that's what you mean. Um. No, I mean as it as in old ruins. Well, the Sith have some old ruins that interest them up on the surface of the planet. If this map of yours is there, however, they've said nothing about it. Okay. Um, how can one reach the ruins on the surface? Zerka sends freighters to the surface every now and again to ferry artifacts to the core. The men are not allowed out of their ships, however, as only Sith are allowed on the surface. Beyond that, I really can't say. Um, can't say or don't know? Well, all I know is that they call the site the Valley of the Dark Lords. Apparently, there are Sith Lords of old buried in tombs there. I don't know anything else. Neither will you, I'm sure. Only the Sith students are allowed access to the site. Um, okay, so we need to become a student then. Okay. Do come again. Mm -hmm. So posh. Uh, right. Uh, citizen, there is Blur's Kesh here. Let's talk to you, man. Uh, you there, human. Are you the one flying the Ebon Hawk now? I saw your, you dis disembarking earlier. Um, 
Yes, the Ebon Hawk is my ship. Is that so? You can tell you can tell Davik that my people are uh, spitting plasma over here. We've been waiting for the shipment for a month now. I suppose we should be grateful that the shipment survived Taris at all though, right? Anyway, hand it over and let's finish this. Um Hand over what? What are you talking about? Wait a minute. Don't you work for Davik? Uh, just how is it? Uh, hey, Bella. Hey, thanks for the follow. Um, so, Davik's dead. Uh, I presume I stole the Ebon Hawk. Uh, yeah, I'm doing well, thank you. How are you? Um, Davik's dead, I presume I stole the Ebon Hawk. From him, what business is it of yours? Ebon Hawk is mine now. Yeah, Ebon Hawk is mine now, so I don't want to really get into it. Fair enough, to be honest, I don't really care what happened to Davik or how you got the ship. I'm interested in something else. A uh, couple of times a week, yeah. Uh, we have friends. Um, I expect if it is, I would. Uh, it would be a container you gave him. Lockdown requires a code. Might have you seen such a thing, human? Um. I may have. Uh, how much is it worth to you? 1,000 credits or perhaps more if you're interested. What would you say to that? Um, what if I refuse? My employers will be disappointed, no doubt. Have, have you another, uh, another use for a spice, human? Consider yourself. Uh, I could, I could take a look at it. Yeah, I'll take a look. Excellent. Set the code on the container as red forty-seven. Um, when you get the spice, bring it here to me. I'll wait for you. Okay, cool. Uh, right. Pilot, pilot. Okay, cool. Uh, Mirador, okay. Excellent. Uh, greetings, Sentinel. Uh, you are the owner of the Hawk, yes, or the latest owner, at least. I'm honored to meet you. I am Mikadorin, manager of the establishment. Is there something that you need, Sentient? Uh, the owner of the Evan Hawk is always welcome at the uh, dress day cantina. Um, you know something about the Ebon Hawk? Only what I hear from rumours, Sentient. The Hawk has been a frequent visitor to Kurban in the past, uh, though often with a different owner. Okay. In all fairness, I should tell you that many of the past owners were suspected of being smugglers, slavers and pirates. It was even whispered that some worked for the exchange. Okay. But I always found the Hawks owners to be excellent citizens in fine character, the kind of people I refer, prefer to do business with, much better than the Sith at least. Um, what do you know about the Sith Academy? The Sith built their academy here to train students, many go to train there. Though I do not know why, most are not permitted to train and many die in their attempts to be admitted. Many of the students and sometimes the Sith themselves come to the canteen, look around and you see them, I have little choice as to their presence. Um, Okay, okay, uh, I'll say that's all for now. Lovely. Okay, um, games I usually uh, play. Uh, you know what, I'm, I, I start, I play a variety of games. I mean, over the last uh, few weeks, uh, I've been playing this uh, game called U-Boat, which is a submarine, submarine simulation game. Um, mainly story-driven games, though, which... Uh, you can kind of dive into the lore. I'm going completely the wrong way. Um, yeah, where you can just kind of dive into the lore and um, kind of just kind of immerse yourself within it. Um, I mean, if someone wants to be like play like a first-person shooter, um, then um, 
like or like something like PUBG or Valorant or something like that. I'm not interested. Really not interested in that at all. Uh, okay, so we've got a utility droid and a protocol droid here. Uh, it looks like the entrance to uh, a may maybe to the to the grounds of the um, the order. So Mechel and there's the Sith Academy guard. Uh, my stream quality is very nice. Uh, thank you. I think um, I uh, I'd say I'm not really in the market at the moment for getting some art stuff. It's because obviously budget and stuff. Um, I've got a logo and banner. I've got a logo sorted and a banner sorted. Um, I've just got to get it all done in. Um, yeah, if you want, if you say if you need any, well, if there's anything that's uh, commissioned. Um, you can um, you can jump to my um, jump to my Twitter, which is in should be on my channel. I'm not sure if the Twitter is a command in. Oh, I'm going to be spinning here. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. DM me some stuff on Twitter, and we'll um, we can chat after the stream if you like. Um, yeah, absolutely. Because uh, yeah, I'm always I'm always open to discuss things like that. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah. I'll follow you back. Don't you worry. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll follow you back. Don't you worry, Bella. All right, thank you very much for that. Um, all right, so let's chat with uh, Mecca. Leave me be. Can't you see that I'm busy? No, because you just stood there. Okay. Uh, are you are you one of, one of the Sith on the academy? Isn't that obvious? You must be very sharp to possess such an astute sense of perception. Obviously, death. However, since I asked you to leave. Uh, can I ask you some questions? No, you may not. I'm busy amusing myself, and I'm not going to miss any of the fun. Now get lost before I teach you a lesson. All right, sideburns, calm down. Uh, Sif Academy I'm Guard. A Sith, nor do you bear the medallion of a student of this facility. Please leave at once. Um. Force persuade. I don't think that's going to work. Uh, force persuade. I have been conditioned to resist yeah, I thought mental be the case. persuasion, citizen. Please, do not attempt that again. Yeah, I'll do it after the stream. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. Um, thanks, Capes. Yeah, yeah. Um, I need to get inside. Um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do it in the middle of a stream. So, um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk after. We can talk after, don't worry. Um, I need to get inside. I've been sent to speak to the master of the academy. I don't think that's going to work. No one gets inside, citizen. Messages and deliveries must be relayed through official Sith channels only. Okay, cool. Uh, right, so, uh, where... What's this medallion you mentioned? It is the device given to one who has been accepted into the academy, but has not yet proved their worth as a student. If one of the Sith decides you are worthy, you will be given one. Which you must then take to Yathura Ban, who I believe is in the cantina. It is she who decides which hopefuls enter the academy. Um, I need to get inside. Um, how do I become a Sith then? You must be admitted to the academy. That decision must be made by a Sith who has already been accepted here. The final decision, however, remains with Master Yathura. I believe she is currently at the cantina if you wish to seek her out. Now go. Okay, so we've got to go back to the cantina. Okay, that's fine. So we know where we're going now. Uh, I really had no combat engagements here. There is a metal box and over here. Let's see what's inside here. Uh, so computer spike, which is fine. Um... Uh, metal box, metal. Uh, so there's only one metal box here. Uh, repair kit. There we go. Uh, Johanny, get out of the way, please. There we go. Um, there we go. Lovely. Um, right. There's the master, which it looks like this person. Yep. You thought Is there something you need, Jedi? Make it good, for I have little patience. Um, 
So you know who I am? You know what I am? You are far from the first Jedi who has come here after all, willing to abandon that decrepit order of yours. Um, who are you? Who am I? You must not have been in Korriban for very long. Either that or you have been feeling your way about blindly. Luckily for you, I am in a charitable mood. I am Yathuraban, second only to Master Uthar of the Sith Academy here in Dresde. I am the one who decides which of the few of the many hopefuls who travel here to train actually become a Sith. Why? Is it your desire to enter the Academy? Is that why you are here? Yes, it is. Um... Yes, that is why I'm here. Let me join you. Ah, so you are just another hopeful after all. Or are you? There is something odd about you that I cannot place. Obviously, you are a Jedi. One who is very strong in the Force, it seems. So were you a part of the Order for very long? Did they train you? Um... Yes, but only very little. As I thought. How interesting that they would let one with such power out of their grasp. Or are you here to spy on us? For all the good it would do. With that kind of power, you could become a great Sith. Perhaps. If I let you. Does that interest you? Uh... Yes, it does. Ah, good. Exactly the sort of answer I was hoping for. I will take you to the Academy. And we shall see if you are ready to join the ranks of the Sith. I have only one other question. These companions of yours, they will not be coming with you, I presume? They are slaves. Don't worry about them. I... Yes. Yes. We are only servants to the... the Master. There is something odd about this servant of yours. No matter. Make sure they don't disturb your training or cause Ooh, trouble. So... You are responsible for them. Now, are you ready to go to the Academy? Uh, yes I am. Then let us leave. The Master of the Academy awaits you. So, having Jahani might actually cause some problems here. Greetings, prospective students. It appears we have a late entry. Who do you bring before me, Uthura? A young human bristling with the Force? A human that has had some training, it seems, Master Uthar. Very promising, I think. Promising? <laughs> that one's not worthy to lick spit off your shoes, Master. That I'll judge for myself, thank you. Tell me, human, what do you know of the ways of the Sith? What preconceptions has your mind been polluted with? Um... Ooh... I know, the, I know that the Sith are powerful or forced to be reckoned with. A diplomatic answer, if not the core of the matter. Our power is obvious. The question in truth goes much deeper than the surface. Hmm. The Jedi equate the light with goodness and strength, and the dark with weakness and evil. That is their tradition, and it is truly no surprise that they cling to it for comfort. We, however, do not treat the Force as a burden. We treat it as a gift, a thing to be celebrated. We use it to acquire power over others. And why should we not? Because the Jedi say we should not. We are as the Force is meant to be. The Jedi would hide that from you. They would tell you the dark side is too quick, too easy. All so that they need never challenge the passions that lie within them. Joining with us means realizing your true potential. It means not stifling yourself solely for the sake of hidebound shamans and their antiquated notion of order. Be what you were meant to be. What say you, Lasho? Are you ready to learn the secrets of the dark side? Dare you? I dare, Master Uthar. I am ready. Brash and fiery, as expected. Turn that passion to your advantage, child. What of you, Meikle? Are you ready? I am, Master. Oh, that bitch. More than ready. I sense much anger within you, young one. That is good. That will provide you power. And Shardan, what of you? I am always ready. I see. You had best gather your wits for the trial ahead, boy, or you will not last. And you, young human, does this interest you? Are you ready to learn more of what I speak? Um... Uh, I'm ready to learn more. Are you? I can see into your heart, young human. 
and I see the dark kernel that is there. If it is ready to sprout, remains to be seen. Now then, all of you five recruits have shown a degree of facility with the Force. You all have the potential to become true Sith. Only one of you, however, will succeed. The one who succeeds will be admitted to the Academy as a full Sith. All others must wait until next year and try again, if you survive. Okay. My pupil, Uthura, shall be your teacher and master while you attempt to prove yourselves. Heed her words. As Master Uthar said, none of you are true Sith yet. For that to occur, one of you must do enough of worth, gain enough prestige to be selected. What is an act of worth? You must learn that for yourselves. Remember that you are competitors here. Fight for your destiny, or go home. If you wish to gain a lead over your competitors, the first of you to learn the code of the Sith and tell me of it will be rewarded. The rest is for you to discover. Welcome to the dark side, my children. Your one chance at true greatness lies here. Okay, so we're going to go off and try and find the Sith code and try and remember it. Um, okay, so we've got a level up for uh, HK-47 and Jeff Honey. <laughs> Acknowledgement. Uh, right, okay, so um, I think this is all good here. So we're just going to go to here. We're going to not do an auto level up. We've got one um, thing we can use in skills, which we're going to go repair and repair. Yeah, we're going to go repair twice. Uh, Jahane, you've got another level up here. We've got skills, which we're going to have one in awareness and one in treat injury. And then powers, we do have a point we can spend in powers here. Um, disabled droid. Um, that's not too bad. We have actually been okay with that. But then stasis. I imagine we'll be using it against more humans at the moment. So we are going to go for, we might go for stasis here. Um, there is the force armor, which I think that should be sufficient at the moment. Uh, force, Valar, that would be something that I think we get naturally. Hmm. I'm going to go for the stasis here. So we're going to add that power, I think. Yeah, we're going to go for stasis here. So uh, we're going to accept. Uh, we're going to be... Master? Sure. Uh, right, let's have a little mooch round. Is there anything in here in this footlocker? Jahani, give us a give us a. <sighs> okay, so we've got a uh, advanced med pack, dark Jedi Knight robe, three med packs, and then 150 credits. Okay, so let's look at Jahani as well for her gear. What she's got? She's got a Jedi Master robe. She's got a Jedi Knight robe, which is giving us a, a minus. It'll be a minus one to her defense there. So we don't think we want to be looking at that um which all oh, this is looking fine jesus christ the defense on that is just filth um okay so we are all good here so we're gonna go have to look at the um ah oh, there you okay. are my favorite prospect for the year your favorite prospect absolutely by my estimation, you are far more likely to achieve the prestige necessary to join the Sith than any of the others. As a matter of fact, I am so certain of that that I'm willing to offer you an opportunity of the once-in-a-lifetime variety. Would you like to hear it? Uh, absolutely. Good. I do so adore someone who's willing to take a chance. As I said, you're no doubt going to be the one whom Uthar chooses to become a Sith. With my help, of course. Once that occurs, he will take you into the Valley of the Dark Lords to the tomb of Nagasado to administer the final test. There you and I will be alone with him. The perfect time to, shall we say, arrange for a change in the Academy's leadership. Uh, what, what's so important about this tomb? The tomb is an ancient ruin on the surface that was visited years ago by Darth Revan and Darth Malak. They discovered a star map there of great importance. Ooh. Reaching that map as they did is part of the final test. At any rate, it is not the tomb that is important. That Uthar will be alone is what is important. Um. You want me? You want me to kill Master Uthar? Is that such a daunting prospect? It is not as if I am asking you to perform the task alone. Or as if you will get nothing out of it. Master Uthar cannot prevail against us both. 
That's all there is to it. It is a very simple matter. Hmm, okay. Um, how do I know this isn't some test? <laughs> you must not know much about the Sith yet. If Uthar were even to suspect that I might be trying to supplant him, true or not, well, let's just say he wouldn't likely stop to ask too many questions before ensuring I was dealt with. Um... What's to stop me from telling him about this? Uh, and what's your part in this? My part in this is to help you gain enough prestige mm. and slow down the progress of the other hopefuls. I want you in that tomb when the time is right. We destroy Master Uthar together and I take his place. And you take your place at my side. A beautiful plan in its sheer simplicity. Um, okay, I agree, yeah. I'm so glad you see it my way. I will begin to make preparations for your final test. Your only worry now is to get there. Don't disappoint me. Um, how do I get more prestige? You must impress Master Uthar. Go to him with news of your deeds or artifacts you have discovered. The first and easiest way would be for you to learn the code of the Sith and speak it to him. I can teach you that if you like. Yeah, sure. Shall I go on? Uh, yeah, can you tell me about the code of the Sith? I can help you understand it. Would you like to hear it? Peace is a lie. There is only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. The Force shall free me. Simple words, yet easily misunderstood. Would you care for me to explain anything? Okay, so... There's no peace, there's only passion. Through passion, I gain strength. Through strength, I gain power. Through power, I gain victory. Through victory, my chains are broken. I, uh, the force shall set me through, free. Uh, the Jedi would have you believe that peace is a desirable goal. That peace of the spirit is the way the force is mastered. Hmm. That a lack of conflict betters man. We know different. It is our passion, our hate, and our desire that fuels the Force. It is conflict that improves the lot of civilization and single being both. Conflict forces one to better oneself. It forces change, growth, adaption, evolution, or death. These are not our laws, but the universe's. Without conflict, you have only stagnation. Hello, Hooded. How you doing, mate? You good? Um... So we kind of just, they're just going to go through all of that. So I think, yeah, I, I think I've got surprised. it. Yeah. The force is strong with you. Master it and it shall serve you well. Um. Okay, so I'll, I think we should get you going You have now. had an excellent start. Go, gain more prestige. Okay, can I go and look in your things here? No, I can't. Uh, okay. Um, but yeah, hope you're doing well, Hooded. Um, yeah, I'm glad to know that you've, uh, You've got your license now. It's uh, actually got there. Uh, well, your your provisional. Uh, Uha wins room. Okay, we can't go in that yet. I don't think. Uh, we're gonna go down here. Uh, there's there's cow. Can we look in this? No, we can't. Let's talk to your man here. Oh, uh, hello. I don't remember seeing you here before. My name is Kel. Kel Alguin. Uh, is something wrong? I oh uh nothing. Are you sure? Yes. My master always says I'm too trusting, too willing to show weakness. You're a Sith, so I, I really shouldn't, you know. I'm not a Sith yet. Oh, I know that. I mean, you aren't yet, but you intend to be. I mean, you're just like everyone else here. Uh... And you're not? I, 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 I didn't mean it like that. Uh, how did you mean it then? I, I, I shouldn't trust you. I, I can't trust you. Can I? Uh, sure you can. Yeah, of course you can. I just don't feel I belong here. I thought maybe I did at first, but now, I don't know. I just have so many doubts. Um. If it doesn't feel right, then perhaps you don't belong here. But where would I go then? What would I do? Um. Have you thought about the Jedi? Uh, I, I don't know. I never really thought about it maybe i should seek it out give it a try thank you thank you so much okay bye <laughs>
Uh, okay, so. Do, 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 do. No problem. Didn't work. Nope. <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna look into that yet. Or what's what's people's skills looking like? Uh, skills in not computer use. Uh, security. We've only got that. You've got four, and you've got two. Okay, so that's. Oh wait a minute, no. Uh, security is zero. And you've got zero as well. So we've only got a plus five. Okay. Have I got anything that's gonna increase the security actually in our stats? Uh will this, 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 no. Is there anything here? Dexterity, critical hits, and poison. Oh she can have one of these now, can't so she can have one more in dexterity, which is great. Um Nuruban for an awareness to and will. Okay, cool. Ready! Yes? <laughs> I love that. Ready! <laughs> right, okay. Um Down there was the uh master's room, so we're not gonna go there yet. Um Let's go this way, have a look. La Shell. Uh, let's talk to your man here. I remember you from the colony. Oh, it's a woman. You seem all right. <laughs> Oops. Though you'll not win the right to train before me. Um. Who are you? You don't remember. My name is Lasho. We met in the colony ever so briefly. Ready, start your engines. <laughs> Good one. Um, you're trying to become a Sith as well. I challenge you to a duel. A duel. Fine. You run along and get ready while I go gain some prestige. Idiot. Um. Okay, she called me out. <laughs> that was mean. Um. Sardan? Woohoo! If it isn't the freak from the colony. Hello, freak. Um. You want to make an issue out of it? And go into the dueling room? <laughs> I've got better things to do than give you a fair fight. You can count on seeing me later, though. My lightsaber has your name on it. Oh, okay. Um. Um. <laughs> uh. We do down there, buddy. <laughs> oh God. Uh, right, it's swiftly moving on. <laughs> uh, I is is Miko the bitch. All right, here it's we go. It's a bad year to try and become a Sith, you know. I've got it all wrapped up. Um, who are you? My name's Miko. I'm one of the hopefuls up for the Sithhood, just like you. Well, I'm the one that's going to make it. That is. Um, what makes you so sure? You think I would tell you? Have my brain started dribbling out of my nose or something? Um, you could at least give a hint? Huh. I guess there's no harm in it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Word has it that Master Yuthar gives big points for Sith artifacts that are brought back from the valley. Um, the valley? The valley of the Sith Lords. You know, where the Academy does all its excavating. If you really don't know, just go out the east exit and you'll see. Okay. Well, thanks, dude. I mean, that was a lot of help. Um, I'm hearing a lot of screaming in the background. Is someone, is someone in like a BDS, BDSM dungeon or something? If I can get my words out. Uh, Sif student. Uh, let me talk to your man here. Let's see if we can do the code before Greetings, the young one. You have much to do yet. You have gained little prestige. You will have to work quickly if you hope to best the others. Um, I know the code of the Sith. Then finish the code as I speak it. Peace is a lie. That is only... Passion. Through passion, I gain... Strength. Through strength, I gain... Power. Through power, I gain... Victory. Through victory... My chains are broken. 
the Force shall free me. Yes, There we good. go, nice. You have indeed learned the code of the Sith. Speaking the words and knowing the words are, however, two different things. Tell me then, true or false, victory by any means is desirable. Uh, True? False. Unless victory proves your superiority, it is an illusion. It is temporary. Oh. Sadly, it seems you did not understand the code as well as I thought. Um. Indeed, you have much to do yet. Okay, can I talk to him again about that? Greetings, young one. You uh, on other codes. Yeah. Finished peace. Okay, so it was passion. Through pack strength. Through. Uh, through strength, there is power. Through. There is victory, through. and then my chains are broken. The force. Yes. Tell me then. Okay, so this is false. No, it is true. Our passion, our hate and desire. That is what brings conflict. What? Which gives us power. Sadly, it seems you did not understand the code as well as I thought. Wait a minute. Did... Indeed. Hold on. Come here, buddy. Let me just go through this again. Okay. There's... It's three... Two... Three... Four... Four. The f yes. Tell me then. True or false? It is our passion that fuels the force. Oh, okay. So they're different questions. Oh, okay. Um, I thought it was a, the same question and I got it wrong, even though I said the opposite. Okay. Uh, so tell me, tell me true or false, is it our passion that fuels the force? No. No, it is true. Fuck! Our passion, our <laughs> hate and desire. <laughs> that is what brings conflict, which gives Shit. us power. Sadly, it seems you did not understand. Um, yeah, okay. I want to do this again. Okay. Uh, uh, Greetings. Read one. Read one. Read one. Okay, so it's three, two, three, four, four. Um, this was false. Well done. I will test you no more. You know the code. Very impressive. Go now. Okay. You have done well, but you have not First impressed time. me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Okay. Cheers, dude. Um... Very well. You have impressed me. Definitely a good start. Okay, well, we've got some prestige points here. Um, can't go through there. And I think we've got to go to the... Um, they said they mentioned the exit on the end. There's a dueling room there. Interrogation room there. Okay, let's have a go to the dueling room. Ah, yeah. Oh, okay. Computer panel, let's have a mooch. System loading, system status operational, verifying the identity. Um, start combat with prisoner. Initiating combat preparation. Prisoner will be inject, um, injected and armed. Caution. Personal safety not guaranteed. Continue his fight. Uh, arming prisoner 1006. Releasing prisoner 1006. Reminder. The academy frowns on uh, sloven, slovenly kills. Have a nice day. Your kind has killed everyone I know. Run, I freed you? Okay, dude, I tried, but you did not. There we go. It's done. They're getting some misses in here, and it's not. Okay, it's about time there. Oh, Jahani, where were you? Okay, let's have a look to see what remains there are. Okay, so there's nothing there. Let's try and bust into this. No problem. Shouldn't be a problem. Didn't work. Skill too low. Okay, let's just break it too. Okay, computer spike and an iron grenade. Okay, lovely. Uh, captive. Go away. Okay. There's nothing. You can release me or kill me. But the former master of the academy, Jorak Ulm, is supposedly hiding out in the hills on the surface. Some kind of mad hermit. Uh, okay, so let's start. Um. 
Start combat with prisoner, continue fight. You give me a weapon, Sith, I'm going to use it. Um You'll pay for what you've done. Okay, apparently that, Okay, so apparently we just end up killing them regardless. Okay, that's fine. Some misses there. Okay, that was a double hit there, nice. Okay, cool. Johanna, you are literally sitting there with your thumb up your bum. Um, okay, system loading. Uh, number of combats remaining. We're going to do um, arming prisoner. I'll uh, kill you! 1676, I think it was. Uh, and let you hunt me down? Never! Okay, so let's do a stun again. Okay, so we saved that. That was fine. Okay, <laughs> he got his shit pushed back up. Uh, right, okay, so that's... Um, there's nothing we can do here, except for slice the computer, but I don't think that's going to do anything here. Uh, he's just... Oh, he's just he's just having fun with them. Okay, that's a bit of a, a weird sex thing. Um, okay, so the interrogation room. Oh, maybe you can do better than I. This Mandalorian is proving more resistant than I expected. Um, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to get him to tell us where his weapon cache is hidden. So far, all the serum combinations I'm using are proving ineffective. If I bring his drug threshold too high, he'll go into shock and be useless. Too low, and he just refuses to talk. It's been maddening. Okay, um... How do you drug him? Just activate the console. It gives you a variety of options for serum dosage. The right amount applied at the right rate should do it. The real trick is that the only way to gauge your progress is to watch the prisoner closely for his reaction. Our scanners can't pick up his vitals. Okay, well, they're a bit useless then. You want me to try? Certainly. Uh, just don't kill him or send him into shock. He's supposed to be questioned, not executed. If you manage to get the location of his cash out of him, I'll be sure to pass on the good word to Master Yutha. Okay, cool. Right, let's have a mo mooch then. Okay. Um. Okay, so we've got a few options here. So we can. Can you speak Galactic Basic? I know your language is safe, but I won't give you the satisfaction of speaking. Uh, do you know any way I could free you? You're trying to trick me. I do not believe you. I could do force persuade. Never. Your mind tricks do not work on me. They are useless. Um. Whisper. Nope. Let's activate the serum. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. So, so we're going to use anti serum on. Are we going to use a small? Okay, so you want to tell me where your cash is? Oh no, that was the anti one then, because I didn't want to use anything else in case, because it did seem a little bit off. Um, you want to tell me where your cash is? Okay, so that didn't work. Okay, so let's go to the serum. And now we're going to apply a moderate amount of truth serum. Okay, so force persuade. Okay, that didn't work either. Um, can you speak? Okay, so... Uh, Activate. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to induce a little bit more. So we're going to use a small dosage. Okay. One more force persuade. Nope. Okay. 
uh, activate serum again we're going to uh, use a we're going to reduce it by that and then we're going to give another moderate dosage uh, my mind is my okay so activate serum we're going to do one more truth Okay, we're going to say Force Persuade, there we go. It is, it is in my ship, the cache, it is, it is in a trapdoor hidden on my ship. Okay. Yes, oh, I heard okay. that. Excellent job. Thank you for locating the cache. Naturally, I would see you rewarded. Mm, yes. I'm <laughs> that I extracted the information. Um, naturally, I would... Uh, would see you rewarded by prefer that everyone believe that I I'm not going to oh I suppose one would need to be alive to go running to master Yutha to report the location of the cache wouldn't they does that mean that you're ready to battle a true Sith then? yes it is shall we make an issue of it yeah let's go ah, gather your anger then and let us see who is superior okay so that's done and we're just gonna okay we've done 44 damage there but... okay we got a lot of misses on this now Oh, okay. He didn't do a lot of damage at all, so it should be okay just to move him through. There we go. Lovely. So he's going to have some remains. He's got a 150 credits, a security spike, and a green crystal. Okay. It is a metal box over here. We can try and break into it. Um, didn't work. Do I have Red, Red, Red Dead Redemption 2? I've got it on the PlayStation 4. Um, and a droid plating, heavy plating type 3. That's good for T3 and 4. Yeah, I've got it on the PlayStation 4. Not PlayStation 3. I did, did I say PlayStation 3? I got it on the PlayStation 4. And it was one of those games where I was actually going to play off stream because of just how big the game was. Um, but if there is interest for for me to play it um, on stream, then I may do that and just do the main story, and then anything that's kind of like off off the story, um, then I will just do that in my own time. Um, let me talk to Uther Wynn here. Greetings, young one. I have found you to be most impressive. You are off to an excellent beginning. Um, I know the location of a Mandalorian prisoner's weapon cache. You do? That is most interesting. Where might that be? Um, it is hidden in a trapdoor on his ship. Hmm. How ironic that I recently had his vessel scrapped for parts then. I had assumed it had been thoroughly scanned. Apparently not. Still, you have done well in bringing me information that others could not unearth on their own. I am impressed. Go now. You have done well, but you have not impressed me enough to declare you the victor. I have matters to attend to. Okay. Um, okay, so I'll be on my way. Well, you have impressed me. Definitely a good start. Okay, cool. Um, so, um, yeah, so I was going to, if there is any any interest, I may look at, uh, let's go through here. I think this is where we came through, didn't we? Yep, okay, this is here, so we don't need to go this way. Um, I mean, I did play it for a fair amount as well, and when I play it again, I'm actually going to restart the game because... I don't fully remember what's gone on, um, but yeah, it is really good, um, and it comes on sale so much on Steam as well. So I may, if it comes onto a good sale, Jesus Christ! Uh, if it comes onto a good, good sale, um, then I might just pick it up on the on PC just to make it easier to stream. Then, if if I do happen to stream it, um, so I don't, I can't remember what I just picked up from there. Um, no let's problem. see if we can break into it. Got it. There we go. Okay, we have a construction kit and an advanced repair kit. So I think that's like the tier three 
version of a repair kit for droids, which is nice. Um, so, would you would I say, Hoodie, would you be interested with a with a stream of Red Dead Redemption Two? Have you played it before? So, do you know what happens or or not? Oh shit! At last, my search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Um. You were on the Endar Spire. You killed Trask. You pay for that. Oh yeah, it was your man there. Oh okay. Um. Your Malik's apprentice can't say I'm impressed. Your words mean nothing to me, unless you wish to beg for your life. No, then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. Okay, hold on. I've got a... Okay, I've saved it, just because I hadn't saved it since the start of the stream, um, and I don't want to have to do all that again. That's fine. Uh, Darth Bandon, Dark Jedi, Dark Jedi. What we're gonna do? We're gonna have. Your wish. Uh, <laughs> You're going to do a, not that, you're going to say a concussion grenade. Sure. You, yes. you are going to do a stasis. Master. Yes. And then you are going to do a stun. I don't think we're going to be able to stun Darth Baden. And then we're going to say go. Gonna be good for um, we're gonna get a concussion what grenade. Shit. Okay, so they're nearly dead. Well, he's nearly dead. He's not. Sure. Okay. Yes. Okay, Jahani is doing really well here. But she's going to she's gonna die now anyway. Okay, that's fine. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna load up, we're gonna do the quick save. We are gonna just change up the um We're gonna just change up our setup We're gonna say that because what it seems like is even though the double saved lightsaber is nice. We are getting less hits and we've got less defense here as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to just keep the purple lightsaber going. We're going to use the dueling shield here. You're going to use your uh, concussion grenade. You're going to use a stasis. <laughs> Johanna, you, I say, you, you, you are tanky, but Jesus Christ, you're tanky. You take an age to actually get um <laughs> Sorry, I didn't even realise how my character was then. Alright, we're gonna have some cures down the Get him down, get him down, okay, cure, cure please, cure. Get this Dark Jedi killed. Uh, HK47, can you get a potential stun on your man here? No, I'm gonna say power. Okay, it's looking good. Oh shit. Nice. We're gonna have a heal on the group here. 
Uh, come on, Jahani. Ooh, okay. Um, myself, I'm going to have an advanced well. medkit on myself. Jahani, you're going to... I think you should be okay. Uh, you're going to have a... Uh, just keep nuking yes. with, it, with, with those. Johanny, please do some attacks. Why am I not attacking? Uh, okay, so we're going to come off this. We're going to say... A flurry, a ground of flurries there. You're gonna have your power attacks on this, and then you have your power attacks going in. Okay, so HK47 has gone down, which is fine. Okay, that was a lot of health off uh, Darth Baden there. Um, we're gonna have a no, we're gonna come off all these, and we're gonna have a an advanced yes. medkit. Oh. oh my god! <laughs> what a. D <laughs> As if. <laughs> I think we did rather well to get those Dark Jedi down. So that is the that is kind of the play we have to do. We have to try and get those Darth Jedi. Darth Jedi. Dark Jedi, I should say. Um, oh, we had an auto save before. Okay, that should be fine then. Okay, so um, you're going to do a, a sonic. The thing is, they've got range as well, so we don't exactly want to plant them there because it will be a bit of a nightmare. Um, I'm going to say a... Hmm. Right, we're going to have a one attempt at a frag grenade on you. You're going to have a stasis, and you're going to have a... Stun. Sure. Okay, nope. You're going to cancel that stun. You're going to have... Okay, HK47, you can tank that. You, on the other hand, can do a stasis. Oh. Jahani is really, really doing me in here. Um, okay, you don't want to do that. Um, this is going to be a quick... What? Let's just quick load it, because there's no point. There's no point. Um, Alright, so Jahani, can you do a stasis and a stasis? Can I do a... On your man there, can we have... A not a frag. Can we get a... A DC. Uh, nope. There we go. A Sonic. Nope. Not a Sonic. It's uh, poison grenade. Wouldn't be bad. And then you're gonna have a stun poison. Oh, I don't think the stun's gonna work on the Darth Jedi here. Um, more Darth Baden, I should say. Um, all right. Okay. Let's go for a. You know what? Let's do a one of these. All right, are you poisoned are you, or are you poisoned? All right, none of them are poisoned, which is a bit annoying. But you can do another poison grenade. Oh, no. Okay, he's poisoned. All right now, you're going to do a. Uh, Not an adhesive frag grenade. Yeah. Yeah. Oh shit, he moved. Oh, it still it still hit him a little bit. Uh right, we're gonna have a not energy shield, we're gonna have a Sif energy shield here. Mandalorian melee shield here. Yes. And you're going to do power attacks on your man here. Uh, 
HK47, can you get a advanced repair kit on yourself? Lovely. Are you going to get another one as well? Oh shit. Um, can you... Oh, I'm fucking poisoned. Great. Um, can we get a... No, we don't want this. We want a Knight Valor Force Aura. Yeah. Oh. And then we're going to have a stun on you. That didn't work. Okay, that's fine. We're just going to get some... Oh shit, okay. I know what I did wrong as well. Uh, I haven't removed the lightsaber from myself. So we are just going to try and go through with this at the moment. But I have to try and remember to get that removed. Okay, so we're going to have our heals on group here. We're going to get two. Uh, Johanna yeah. is currently out of action for the moment. She's going to get some stuns, some cures down group as well. Yeah, we definitely, definitely can't be going around with... We're going to quick just do a quick load here. We definitely can't be having a uh, two lightsabers on us at the moment because it is really, really messing us up. So we're going to have that. We're going to close. We're going to pour. We're going to save it just so we don't have to do that all again. We're going to get the shield on you. We're going to have a uh, concussion grenade on you. And you are going to have a stasis and then a stasis. Okay, they both save, which is annoying. Okay, can I get Jin to focus on your boy here? Yes. Come on, get him down. Nice. Okay, one's down. Okay, let's focus on this Dark Jedi here. Uh, we're going to have a, a group cure here. Oh, hello. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> it's like a giant fucking shovel. Uh, right, we're going to get a cure on group here. You have got no force powers there. So we're going to have a advanced repair kit on HK-47. And then we're going to have a flurry. Yes. Oh, nice damage there. Okay, nice. Okay, so now this shouldn't be a p too much of a problem. Uh, I'm just going to risk it. Just... It Okay, so that's pointless doing that. She, he's going to try and keep her stun locked, which is fine. Okay, that's a problem. That's a big problem. Right, we're going to get uh, cures. Okay, we're going to ignore all these flows here. We're going to get cures down. Uh, you, HK47, you are going to do a uh, power blasts them. Uh, you are going to do a advanced repair, uh, advanced med kit. You're going to have advanced med kit as well. So it looks like he's run out of force powers. So it should be a, just a quick nuke now. Nearly dead, nearly dead. Let's, let's kill him. Oh, lovely. 800 experience. Okay, nice. Jesus Christ, that was a... That was eventful. All right, so we've got 3,000 credits, staff, abandoned fiber armor, and a double-bladed lightsaber, which is great. We have two remains here. So we've got an ion grenade, and we don't have nothing on your man here. So let's have a look to see what this 
um, this armor does. So it gives plus five in defense and then five in dexterity. This is giving us a three in defense and then eight in dexterity. Um, if we have this, it's giving us 24 in defense and then dexterity, which is apparently making this harder to hit, but then the defense goes up as well. So we are actually going to use that. Oh, okay, that looks juicy. Um, so that went pretty well. Uh, I'm going to do a quick save whilst we are here just to get that done. Um, and then we are going to get some cures on the group Ready. as well. Um, so sure. we have full health there. We're going to be able to get another one uh, now. Let's go. And Ready. HK47. Uh, not, I didn't want to use that one. I wanted to use another one, but it's fine, I suppose. It's, Your wish. Yes. It's already used now. Um, there's a sky rack worm here. Uh. 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 These are fairly tanky. Uh. Right, this, this should be fine now, yeah. Jahan is doing a lot of damage here. Okay, that's fine. So we've killed those. Uh, is there remains? No, there's not. So there is a cave here which we can go into the Skyrack Caves. And then there is the Skyrack Raptor here. We're going to get some cures on the group again. Ready. Your wish? Yes. Okay, nice stun there. Nice, okay. What's our experience looking like? How much do we need? We need... Only 2,185 for our next experience, uh, for our next level up. Uh, and these are the ruins of Kuraban. Um, so... Looking pretty nice. I'm not here to get you out of trouble if you do something stupid, student. Okay. Enter the tombs at your own. Okay, let's talk to this. The tombs okay. are full of traps and droids that still work, it looks like. Stay out. Gallon, Gallon Law. Okay, let's talk to you. Let's talk to your boy here. Oh, hello to you. You're new to the academy. Why is all the you? Sith? I can't say we've ever met. Like really pompously British. Like why? <laughs> uh, who are you? Galen Law, at your service. Aren't these tombs fascinating? We had no idea the Sith were here so long ago. Why not? Aren't they records? Not from this far back. Or at least what records do exist are sketchy at best. These ruins date back to a period when the Sith were first formed, before their exile into the far reaches of space. It's quite fascinating. Um, what are you doing here? I've been working on a translation of some of the runes by this tomb. I'm quite excited. This may very well be the tomb of Ajanta Paul. Who is Ajanta Paul? Ajanta Paul was one of the first of the great Sith Lords. He okay. rebelled against his Jedi Masters and led the way for the rest of us that followed. These runes claim that he was interred here, and I wonder if his sword might not be here as well. His sword? According to legend, a Junta Paul created a sword of terrible power. Someone who located it could gain considerable prestige. Um... Wanna go in then? No. These tombs are certainly not harmless. Don't think that. The sword may be tempting, but... I'm not about to risk my life to find it. Um, hasn't hasn't any effort been made to recover it? Well, a few of the Boulder students have tried. They did not return. As I understand it, the tombs are quite dangerous. Um, what makes the tombs so dangerous? From what I've been told, the tombs have old traps and machines that are still active. They were designed to keep out intruders when they were made, and still do. I suppose if the Academy wanted to make a concerted effort, the tomb would be opened. But I think Master Uthar prefers to keep it as a challenge for the students. Um... What do you know about the sword's powers? 
Nothing at all. The legends don't say anything about it. It may have had powers only for Ajanta alone. Um. Okay, well, I'll get going. Of course. Don't let me keep you from your business. Okay, cool. So that's something that we can go and look at now. Um. So there is a hyper stimulant, hyper battle stimulant, and oh, I don't want that. There we go. Uh, tomb of Ajanta pool. Right, let's have a little mooch in here. Okay, so we are going to do a quick save here whilst we're in. Okay, so there's an average plasma good mine. Uh, we're going to try and recover the mine whilst we can. Can we? Skill too low. Can we disable it? Yep, we can. What is it? What? Uh, no open up with some security Didn't if we work. can. No, we can't. So we're just gonna slam it open with our lightsaber here. There we go. I love that you can miss a door. Okay, so there is a a dire tuck rat at cutter. I think that resisted a stun that we were going to put on. Nice, nicely done. We should be leveling up very, very soon. Yeah, we got 1,000 left. Okay, that was nicely done there. Okay, so we didn't really lose much health. We are going to get a heal on group though. Okay, lovely. Sif corpse and there is a demolition sensor parts and a data pad here so let's have a look at, sure. let's have a look at that demolition sensor here uh, so that gives us plus eight in awareness and four in demolitions sheesh right what's this give this gives two in awareness and three in will so we're gonna have this maybe we will get we will eventually give that to someone like um Someone like Candorus. Um But we are going to put that on for the moment. Because the will... I don't, yes. What does will give again in our stats? Uh, so... I think will might help with our wisdom. I think it is. So let's just have a quick mooch. So we're going to have this. And say yes. And then we're going to have... No, it doesn't help the will. Does it help the constitution though? So that's we're on plus four with constitution at the moment. And if we do this. So that's the same. The defense is the same. The reflex is 16. Uh, reflex is 16, but the will it goes up to 14. 16 is 24 defense. Okay, that seems better. I think. Yeah, this seems better. So we're not going to have the awareness. Okay, so there's a severed arm here. Data pad. So in the data pad here, we can... Uh, assault droid mark 2. Oh, that just turns for the sake of it. Okay. Ru Ruin from Covered Obelisk. Okay, so I imagine there's something that we need to do with the data pad if we can find it. Um, no. Oh, plop. Okay, is this it? Um, this data pad appears to be a journal of a Sith archaeologist by the name of Veren Gell. Most of it consists of uninteresting notes of the um, geology of the tomb's caverns, but the final entry is as follows. Strangely enough, I have found traces of uh, Thorangan in the tube. Tube in the tomb. Um, this is an unstable black rock used to, as fuel uh, by lesser races. Perhaps an ancient Sith on Korriban used it as a power source. 
It is volatile and dangerous substance and reacts violently to fire. I will have to be careful. Hmm, okay. Uh, so there's nothing in that. I'm gonna go around. Uh, so it reacts to fire. There's a Sif corpse here. We didn't check this corpse. Uh, there is a Sonic Grenade, a Med Pack, and an Achani Battle Simulant. Okay, cool. Uh, there is a... Uh, people in the way. Get out of the way. Um, Your wish. So nothing down here sure. for us. I don't think. No, that's Door to the Valley. Uh... I mean, I knew that weren't going to do anything, but, um, get out of the way, um, doesn't appear like we can do anything for the moment. So maybe we've got to get something that we can use to go in. <coughs> hmm. Hello again. Still roaming about the valley, I see. Uh, okay. Of course. Well, don't let me keep you from your business. Nothing there for us. Uh, there's a metal box here we can look into if we've not already done that. Uh, so there's the Adrenal, Alacrity, and a Life Support Pack, okay, which is the Tier 3 Med Pack, which is good. Um, Sif Students. Uh, this is the Tomb of Marco Ragnos. Okay. Oh, Mark Droid 3, okay. Uh, you're going to use your power shots. You're going to do eight stun drills. I'm not really a mark th three. Okay, so we've got a level up. Okay. I knew that was gonna happen. Right, let's do a frag grenade down down the there. You will fall! I will be your doom! And let's I heard that. My ears are bleeding. <laughs> That was so loud, I'm so sorry. Hold on, let me go to the, uh, I mean, it's a bit late now to be doing the audio here, but, uh, sound, uh, movie, sound effects. There we go. I mean, it wouldn't make any difference, but the attempt was there. All right, um, we do have a level up, actually. Let's have a look at this level up. Okay, so we are still looking neutral in our light and dark side. So attributes, we've got one additional point we can use. We're going to use that in dexterity, um, which is going to make it give us one additional point in our defense, which is great. Computer use, treat injury, we're going to put two in there, and then in persuade, we're going to have one. 
powers. We've got an additional point to use as a power here, and we're going to use that in either status um, or stun droid. I think it may be the... Hmm. Maybe force shield might be worth getting now. Or force resistance. I think force resistance would probably be the best shout to get now. Um... So yeah, we are looking pretty decent now. So we've got the extra one in the dexterity, which is going to help our defense here. Making us a little bit more tanky, which is good to see. Um, Too much audio input. Audio systems overloading. Must destroy source of disturbance. <laughs> Must kill sentience. Damn right, there's too much audio. <laughs> that was so loud. <laughs> Uh, right, okay, uh, let's just... Oh, hello. Alright, let's get some, uh, flurries on the go here. Some nice damage there. Oh, come on, get it down. Nice, okay, 450 experience on that. There is a, a droid mark too. We just get these down quickly. Good kill there from Jahani. Okay, uh, H. Okay, you can focus on power blast on your man over there. I will be okay. your doom. Literally blowing it up the wall there. Nice shot there, mate. Keep them coming. Okay, that was nicely done. Um, we didn't really lose that much, but... Sure. Okay, good. Mark three, okay. So it was immune to the stun from the lightsaber. Which makes sense, being it a, um, a droid. Is there any remains from any of these ads that we just killed here? No, there is not. There's a tomb door, which we can open up. And then there is the Sith sarcophagus, no which we're going to try and open up with some security. We're just going to open it up with a lightsaber. Hopefully we don't destroy the stuff inside it. Uh, we got a Marker Ragnos Gauntlets, and we got a Sith uh, Crystal, which is a Sigil... Um, or sigil. Um, we're going to have a look at these gauntlets here. Marco Ragnos uh, Jedi Defense, restricted to dark side. Weapon focus on lightsabers and weapon specialization. So that is something that we could maybe look at for. Jahani can't use it, neither can Bastila. So they will be pretty useless for this at the moment because we are not right, we're not going dark side. We're more like neutral. Um, so we've just explored everything in there, so we don't need to come back into here. We've got the corpse here, which I don't think we looted because we was too busy with the ads. So let's look at this. Uh, we've got a data record, a Coroban grenade, a med pack, 450 credits, and a sound dampening self unit. Okay, so the sound dampening self unit, unit that gives us a plus two in, in stealth. We can maybe give that to someone like Mission if we are inclined to use her in the future. I don't think we will. Uh, she will just be set back in Ebon Hawk, but that's fine. Um, so we've just done that. Sif I heard an explosion in there. Did you destroy the assassin droid? I did. Oh well, I guess it's good that the deed is done. Hope you stomped it good for my friends. At any rate, if you haven't already, you might want to go and see Master Uthar about that reward. Prestige is gold, you know. Thank you kindly. 
Um, right, so we're going to go to the other two. I think there's two. One there, one over here. So, we're not going to talk to these archaeologists. Map box. Let's have a look at here. Let's see what we got. So, we've got an a amp advanced adrenaline amplifier and a med pack. Nothing here. And this is the tomb of Naga Shadow, which we... Um, I don't think we're going to be able to go in yet, but I will just actually test that out to see if we can. I think this was the final trial from what it said. Okay, we can go in. I'm not sure if we, we should. You know what? It is the final trial. I don't think we should be coming in here yet. So I'm just going to go back out. But at least we know now we can go in there. There's nothing um, stopping us going through that door there. So that's fine. Um, and then this one... There's a metal there's a metal box here and this is the Tula Horde. Um so there's a repair kit there. Let's just go through to Tula Horde's um Yeah, Tula Horde's uh, tomb here. So there's average flash mine. I don't think flash mines really do anything. There's a patrol droid here. The droid is damaged and inactive, so we can repair it. We've got 37 repair parts, so we're gonna activate that. Uh, the droid is now. You know what? I'm gonna leave that alone. Your and wish. We're, and we're gonna have HK47, and we're gonna get him to do this. If it's going to help at all, uh, activate the droid shields, engage droid in patrol mode, optimize the the droid's uh, weaponry and the targeting system. We're going to say the the weaponry. The, so it's successful and we're going to say the patrol mode as well so successful there once you end the session the droid program will be locked in you would not be able to modify the droid anymore um, you know what just to take it to the 30 we're going to say the targeting system as well uh, okay apparently we only used one part there activate the droid shield yeah success okay we're only using one droid part there so that was actually fine um, so now he's going to go off and hopefully he's going to help us out. Yes. Nope. Leave it alone. Let it do its thing. Um. Shoo. Okay. Yeah. Go away. Yeah. That's it. Go away. That way. That way. <laughs> that's actually quite cute. In fact, actually, that's still now experience. Don't do that. Yes. Okay, let's get these down quickly. I suppose it's just like an extra little tank that we got going on. I don't know if it gives us experience because we've activated it. There's no remains here. Uh, Jahani took maybe a little bit of damage from the debris there. And we're just going to follow the droid around. There is a, some wyverns up there. Or some skyrack, sorry. Uh, okay, you know what to do here. You're going to throw your coil bank grenade. Uh, concussion, no, frag, yep. That was a lovely yes. bit of damage there. Going pretty well, actually. Yep. Good thing we've done this patrol droid there because that would have been really dirty. Um, having said that, I'm kind of stuck. There we go. Um, uh, droid, please move. Okay, so there's a corpse here. Let's have a look at the corpse. There might be just a data pad on this. 
So 450 credits, a med pack, and a computer probe. I don't know what a computer probe is. Is it a... Your wish? Ready. Sure. Uh, what's this? This is just an average yes. gas mine. Master. If it's a gas mine, we can just have him do that. Because he's yes. not he's immune to it. Um, let's go look on the computer probe to see what this is. Um, is it an equip equipable? Or is it a utility? Uh, usable... Or just show all items, might as well. Um, I wish there was a search bar which we can use. Uh, and it was a computer probe. Uh, a computer probe. Uh, no, nope, nope, nope. Data recorder, nope. Scientist's memo, star map, star map, star map, nope, 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 nope. Um, Uh, computer probe. Okay, so this gives plus two in. Oh, okay, so it's only a droid. Okay, so it's only just a droid unit. Okay, so that's fine. I don't think we really need to use that at all. Um, and let's just see where this droid's going to take us now. It is running nearly on half health there, so it did tank a lot of that damage with those Skyrax. Uh, it's going to do take a little bit of damage from that. Yep, so it's about half health now, so that's not a problem. Uh, there's a plasma grenade, an antidote kit, and a 450 credit. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Okay, so, um, yes. in fact, you're going to come back, Jin. You're going to yes. come back, and you're going to throw a frag grenade... Okay, we did a lot of damage to our little patrol droid there. I don't know. I don't know why they've all turned and not attacking, but I'm not complaining. Maybe there's just not enough room in the hallway. I don't know what Johan is doing. Okay, lovely. And now, last one. Let's get this down. Okay, lovely. So, look, how much experience have people left now? You need 2,600. You need 2,600. And we are in the market of 8,000. Okay, cool. Uh, you are on about quarter of the health now. So, that's fine. Ancient console. So... System online, system status pending, continue. Uh, open the door. Uh, unlocking access door 44. Okay, cool. Let's check this corpse out. Okay, so there is a Verma, uh, Verpin prototype ion a blaster and a Mandalorian battle armor. So it, this actually looks like this guy was a Mandalorian, okay. Let's have a look to see if this is any better for HK-47. So you've got this, which is 5 to 14. And this is 3 to 6, which is... So we already had one of them, apparently, which is... Yeah, it's one of those, but... Um, you've already got the heavy... Um, the heavy plating, which we've, we can use that with HK-4... No, uh, T3M4. Um... You've already got one of those equipped. So, could we get another one? So, this has got three to six, three to six, which is fine. We've got plus nine and plus 15, or that goes to 19. So, I think that's actually better to do. You know, we're only losing four on this. And we're getting double the damage, which at the moment, we say yes to that. And that is three to six. Uh, that's although it's not a lot. No, wait a minute. It should be having that. Yeah, that's better to have. I think. 
Or is there a penalty that he has? Because that's 17. What skills does he have? Or feats? So. Hmm. Sure. That might be better. Let's just test that out. Let's just see if that's the case. What is it? And then let's see if what this armor is looking like at the moment. So we've got the Mandalorian armor, which is plus 11 to defense and no dexterity. Resistance to electrical. So that's something that we can't use on her, but we can give that to Candorus. Okay, toxic fumes surround you. Your party chokes and falls over. <laughs> Another idiotic student has stumbled into my little web, eh? Well, the contact nerve toxin in the air should knock you out quickly enough. <laughs> Welcome. Wait a minute, HK. Awake already, are you? Good. This is the tomb of Sith Lord Tulak Horde, if you don't know. I've taken up residence here for now. It's dusty and full of critters, but it's home. Um, who are you? Oh, yes. Introductions, of course. I suppose it is time, isn't it? This other student here that I captured earlier should know well enough. His name is Miko. Say hello, Miko. <laughs> Poor lad. He's had a hard day. My name is Jorak Earl. I was once the head of the academy, so I'm sure you've heard of me. Um. Nope, never heard of you. Liar. I know the spark of recognition when I see it. Nice try. <laughs> Anyhow, I'd like to propose that we move on to the main event. You see, I'd like to discover if you've got the pluck of an old-fashioned Sith. Most of the Drek Uthar has been passing through these days is so pathetic. Take young Miko here. I already tested him, didn't I, Miko? Uh, I... Yes, yes, you're welcome. You see, Miko here has the cruel disposition of a Sith, but not the gumption that I'm looking for. Um. What if I refuse to take your test? Well, forgive me for resorting to the cliché, but you would die, of course. Um, I could say go ahead, but I don't know what state we're going to be in. And if I pass your test, why then you go free? Tell you what, I'll even pass on to you my own personal thesis on ancient Sith philosophies. That okay. Based on all I've learned studying Tulak's tomb. It'll make you a better Sith, I'm sure. The chances of you passing, however, are sadly remote. Um. Go ahead. Do now, your worst. Now, is that any kind of attitude to take with higher education? I'm doing you a favor, really. So then, this is how it goes. I'm going to pose a moral question to you. Get it right, and I torture Miko. Get it wrong, and I torture you. Miko here is a bit weak. He probably won't be able to take much more punishment. Mind you, get too many wrongs, and you'll die yourself. I don't know what you think of Miko. Maybe you don't like him. Maybe you think he deserves to be murdered. Well, here's your chance, fair enough? Go ahead. Well then, any last comments before we begin, Miko? We can both survive. Attacking together. Now, now, dear lad, do you really think your friend here will answer questions wrong just to spare little you risking their own life? And how many correctly answered questions before you die? Hmm? Hmm. No, don't be silly. You had your chance, remember? On that note, let's begin. Now then, 
Your immediate superior amongst the Sith is an effective commander and a fine leader. He trusts you and you like him. You see an opportunity to kill him. What do you do? Um, three. I, ref I use this opportunity to kill him and take his place. I think that's probably the best thing to say at the moment. Yeah, let's say that. Three. Correct. He was a fool to let down his guard. You will not make the same mistake, and the Sith as a whole benefit. You see me, Cole. It's not so difficult. Time for your punishment. And so we come to round two. You come across a group of humans who are threatened by dangerous animals. They plead for help, offering you a reward. What do you do? Um, you come across a group of humans who are threatened by... Number two, I leave the re I take the reward and take the and leave the weak fools to their fate. Correct. The humans would no doubt just be preyed upon by something else later. Stand up for yourself, I say. We're not Jedi shepherds after all. Sadly, Miko, the ingenuity of your fellow student is your loss. This is going to hurt. Let's see. Ah, oh, yes. You discover an aspect of the Force that gives you great power. Do you share it and strengthen the Sith as a whole? Or keep it to yourself? You keep it to yourself. Correct! Let them rip the secret from your cold, dead hands if they are strong enough. Oh, certainly you might share it with a few selected minions. But that, of course, is a completely different story. <laughs> Well, it's sad to say, but it's that time again, Miko. Ah! Well, look at that. Poor Miko has gone oh, and died mind. on us. And here I thought it was good for at least one more. Well, then, with young Miko dead, I suppose you've gone and passed my little test, haven't you? Well, that indeed would be a first. I think you must have cheated a little, but there's nothing wrong with a Sith cheating a little. I'll keep my word. I'll just give you my tablet. Perhaps we'll meet again, Sith. That would be fun, no? Okay, cool. Um. Okay, so I'll just give us two seconds. I'm going to go check up on the dog because she's been lay out in the sun for a couple of hours and I just want to make sure she's all right. So two seconds, people. Oh, I'm back. Yeah, so she was actually just lying in the bed. Um, so, yeah, there was a... So I think my Alexa's going off in the other room. No, it's fine. Um, yeah, so she just lay in the bed. So she went actually out in the sun, which is nice because she does have a tendency to overheat herself. So, um, so we've done that now. Um, so let's look at the remains of um, Mechel. Uh, so 150 credits and a crystal of called Fond. Um, there's two tomb hoard here, uh, and then let's just look at the Sith Sar no sarcophagus, which I don't think we can open. Work. So we're just going to bust it open with our lightsaber here, and we're going to have Tulok Horde's mask. Okay, so what does that give? Um, Tula Horde's Mask, you say. So it is reserved for the dark side. It gives you 10%, 10, 10 versus resistance on fire. And uh, it is it is restricted to the dark side. Um, so we can't use this at the moment. Um, I say we are actually edging closer to the dark side now. Which is... It's something I didn't really want to kind of no go, go to. Didn't but... Work. Um, I suppose going through certain parts of the game at certain points, um, you do tend to kind of mix and match if you are playing a grey Jedi anyway. This is taking a absolute age to open. Oh, come on, how can you miss? And let's see what we got here. We got a clay urn, and in this clay urn we have a violet crystal. 
Yes, we got another one. Um, okay, so we got a violet crystal there, which is great. Uh, let's open up these as well. Uh, hopefully we can get a additional crystal as well. So if we do go dual wield, we will have like two purple lightsabers. As I say, I do love purple uh, on a lightsaber. It was the old, um, the, the MMO, the old Republic, where you can, um, uh, so there's Crystal Bondar there. So yeah, it was in the old Republic um, game where, when the level cap was originally 50, um, there was only like, that's where you could get Purple Lightsaber Crystal at the very end, and it was like very, very end game, and then obviously as the kind of game went on, um, it became a little bit more... Um, common. Um, and I do, I do miss playing that game. Actually, I thought it was really good. Unfortunately, I'm not actually able to play it at the moment on the account that I do have. Uh, for some circumstances, I'm not going to get into. Um, I wasn't banned or anything. It was just a, it was a weird, it's a weird thing. But there we go. Let's have a look at this. Hopefully, there's another purple lightsaber crystal. No, so there's um, Farquhar crystal here, which is good. And um, we've checked that, we've gone into that. I don't think there's anything else here we can look into. We're gonna do a quick heal on the group. What is and it? And the HK forty seven you're gonna use your repair kits just to get yourself off a little bit more, just in case sure. we are faced with some dark Jedi as we go out. We have tested this guy here, he was the Mandalorian that we found. And then there's the patrol droid there who is uh, we're just going to leave him alone. Corpse. I think we didn't check this corpse here. Yeah, we did. Uh, okay, cool. So, we are going to make our way back out. Um, and I say, we have been streaming now for coming on to two and a half hours. I'm not sure how much is left in this... Um, in this... Uh, Oh, we've checked here. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, I'm not sure how much is left in this um, on this planet. Um, I'm just trying to think. I don't think there's actually that much thinking about it. Um, but, yeah, I don't really want to do a whole planet in one go. Um, because we might have to do something in Chulak. Yeah, we have to do something in Chulak Horde. Uh, Horde. Not Chulak Horde. Um... Well, if we do something in here, is it Tulakorn? Uh, it is uh, a Junta pool, so we've got to do something in Junta pool, and then we've got to go to Naga Shadow, so that's going to give us two places to go. And then there is these caves as well we've not been into yet, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it there for the day. Um, so I just want to try and make sure there is enough of um, Korriban to go around for tomorrow's stream, because I will be doing this tomorrow. And then uh, Tuesday, I will be back at work, but I should hopefully be coming back to do a little bit of a fresh playthrough with some U-Boat. Um, so unfortunately, the stream, uh, the last U-Boat stream I had, which was coming on to two weeks ago, um, it was, uh, unfortunately, we did sink the boat with um, some boo-boos made on my part. So I have uh, gave the, um, I, I am giving the responsibility to Hooded, snake here uh for a um to be the ship's skipper so hopefully we can make it go a little bit longer or a little bit further than it did this um well the last time round. and um what i'm going to do is i'm going to go back on the streams what we did before and i'm going to try to work out how much tons we sunk in terms of merchant tonnage that we did and then how long the like the last date we um we were with when we got sunk um and then maybe how many ships we sunk all together um and i'm going to put that in the discord which I'll, i can tag in a second uh you know what let's just do that now i'm going to tag in the discord uh if i was not on caps um so for anyone who does want to jump in the discord they say they are welcome to uh and i will put like um what we did in the last campaign and we will do another u48 campaign to see if we can get better you know we want to try and see progress in this time round 
Um, so yeah, I will leave it there. Say so it's been coming on to two and a half hours now, which is looking nice. Um, yeah, thank you for anyone who came along and joined. Um, so it's been nice to get back into it. Uh, Say so it might have been not might have been there, might have not been um, commentary heavy. Um, so I just been ma mainly focusing on the uh, the dialogue in the game. Um, but I say it's been really nice just to try and get back into the swing of things. Um, yeah, uh, thanks for coming along, keeps. Um, yeah, appreciate it. I'll um I will be online online later on with um maybe go on go on the Minecraft server. So for those who didn't know, um I did mention it at the start of the stream. Um I've set up a Minecraft server, which is for the community. It will be mainly for um VIPs, moderators, or subs to the channel. I can't get subs yet due to me not being affiliate yet, but when the time comes, I say it will be open up to those subs as well. Um, the time that the game that the the server is going to be up, I say it's got one hundred percent uptime, but the time it's going to be wiped and we're going to go to a different mod pack or whatever is going to be, you know, you'll, you'll be up for discussion later on. Um, so if anyone is interested in that, I say jump on the Discord and then when when things start opening up a little bit more with with the channel. Um, then yeah, it'll be available for for you all then. Um, but yeah, thank everyone, thank you, thank you everyone for coming along. Um, anyone who's not following the channel, any uh, any any follows are appreciated. Um, say so I am trying to get to that magic number fifty. Um, and yeah, I'll uh, hopefully I'll see you all tomorrow in tomorrow's stream. So tomorrow we should be part ten of Star Wars: Knights of the Old Republic, and we should finish up with Korriban. Uh, we are averaging around two streams a planet uh, so it's about four or five hours um of gameplay on each planet which is quite nice um so yeah i'll hopefully see you all tomorrow if not have a great great weekend go out enjoy the sun if it is sunny or if you are in england or the uk uh, so it is looking quite nice here um and yeah enjoy the rest of your weekend and hopefully i'll see you all very soon so take care now and bye bye